Am I on? Oh, <laughs> hi. Yay, okay. This is Amy. I realized I haven't done a vlog. Video log? Do we ever decide if it was going to be vlog or vlog? I don't know, but I just decided it was time to do one because I haven't done one in a long time. There's a lot of cool stuff happening, so get ready because here's an update. First things first, a week from today, today being the 16th of October, right? Yes, the 16th. It is time for the Berlin trip to Germany for my missions trip, and I'm so excited. Ugh. I haven't, like, I feel like I haven't had a ton of time to think about it because I've been working a lot. You come home from work and you're just like, I don't know, I just haven't been thinking about it a lot. But I've been fundraising. It's been great. Everybody's been so supportive and excited for me and my team is awesome they are hilarious they're excited too and just really have hearts to serve so it's going to be a, it's going to be a cool opportunity I, I can't wait to take pictures there we're infusing a cafe that has been built by national community church with artwork that we have personally created we have some creative design folks going like graphic design i'm bringing my photography there's a guy that does screen printing we, we're taking some coffee art that we did i did some coffee art i'm gonna go get it so this is coffee art, and it looks backwards on my computer, but I don't think it is for you. So it says, there's a story in my heart. I got that from, I guess, just me. I've just been praying a lot and thinking about lately how hard it is, I think, for us sometimes to feel like, you know, with all the millions and millions of people that send out prayer and kind of wondering, like, just occasionally wondering, like, is he listening? Does he hear it? Like, does he know? And, and also the way that we try to make something so articulate that doesn't really need to be complicated by elaborate phrasing, you know, creative ways of telling God what we need. This is kind of coming from, he knows the story of my heart. He knows what I feel. And the same goes for you watching this. Your friends or family maybe are struggling with something. He just knows. And it's just cool to think that you don't have to have the exact right words, the exact phrasing down in order for him to be able to fulfill his destiny for you. So it's just cool. It's a cool idea. So I'm going to frame that. It, this copy art thing is cool. A huge canvas that's going to Berlin actually that we made there. The event that we had, the fundraiser we had on Sunday, the Cirque du Berlin. Uh, that was really fun. Circus theme type of thing. It, it's cool that you can create art with something so simple as a coffee stain being something that could annoy you because it's on your table, but something that could actually turn into something really neat. So I just, I love it. We've got such creative minds on this team. It's going to be so fun. All right. Done talking about Berlin. If you, and if you are interested in making a donation of some kind, you're welcome to make donations on my Razu page, which I will give you the link to. I'm sorry, it's long. Razu.com slash story slash A18 Berlin Arts 2013 Amy Vondrak. I'll have to make donations all the way up through the time that we're leaving. And I welcome them and appreciate them. Or just prayer is appreciated, of course, and uh, never been overseas. So any words of encouragement or advice about going to a different country for the first time. Speaking of a different country that you have to have a passport to get into, I don't have my passport yet. I'm still waiting for that to arrive. So at some point I will have a passport and it's going to be awesome. So whenever that shows up, it'll be great. Passport agency, if you're watching this, hello, where's my passport? So that's good. What else is happening? That's it. Bye. No. Oh, I'm getting braces. Uh, those are spacers. <gasps> They were really painful when I got them the other day, and they're kind of wearing in, but you know what that means. As soon as they're worn in, they're going to do something else to my mouth. When I come back from Berlin, that is something that is going to be happening. Pumped about that. Just fixing my overbite and stuff. It should be cool. Um, two years with braces does not sound like a good time, but I want to have good teeth for my whole life. Got to take care of them now while I can. Been playing a lot of guitar. Ooh, speaking of guitar, saw the Naked and Famous uh, last week. And they were amazing. Man, I love that band. They're so good live. Like, if you liked The Naked and Famous, like, please go see them. They're going on another tour, actually. Like, after they're done with their current tour, they are so good. It is just, they're so talented. They're so entertaining. And, the, like, the lead singer is so sweet. She is the cutest. She has this New Zealand accent. So, yes, she's a Kiwi, for those of you who <laughs> are familiar with that term. It's just an amazing show. I got in in a really weird way. The show was sold out completely. And there were no tickets available, not even on StubHub, eBay, or anything like that. Craigslist was the only place. And I sent, like, 10 to 15 emails for people who had tickets available. And, like, 
one person responded to my email. So I knew that it was uh, going to be a desperate situation. I went to the venue and stood outside probably for an hour before somebody finally walked up and had tickets available. I had met this other guy who was also waiting to see if tickets would show up. You know, people just selling them out in front because somebody always bails at the last minute. You bought an extra ticket thinking that, you know, would have somebody to go with. I don't know, whatever the case is. Yeah, sure enough, this girl came and the guy that I was talking to who did not have a ticket either was like, you were here first, go ahead and take it. I was like, yay, thank you so much. And his generosity definitely was paid back to him because he ended up with a ticket from the box office. They just were like, here, go in. I think they just sell shows until they are right up against fire code. Maybe there were too many people there though, I don't know, it seemed really crowded. But anyway, he got to get in too and that was awesome. So God was definitely good on that for us. And it was an incredible show. I got to make some new friends, so that was fun. Small group is great, NCC is great. I'm really stoked about being involved with the church out here. It is definitely important to feel like a part of something bigger. And I think that makes so much more of a difference being in DC. Cause I know like a lot of you are familiar with how, you know, how much of a culture shock it was for me to live out here. I love my store where I work, the folks that I work with. If I could take this store and pick it up and put it in California, I certainly would because that is definitely a place that I would rather be than Virginia, but God has me here and is doing big things. Just kind of waiting to see exactly what those big things are. So it'll be good. I'm going to be back home for Christmas, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm stoked to be home. Uh, there are so many places that I want to eat and plenty of people that I need to see. So I'm looking forward to Arizona. My Arizona bit is there's a lot of people's kids that I need to meet. <laughs> like all of you have had babies since I left. Well, maybe not all of you. Erica, I need to meet Camden. He's like practically in college already. So I need to get home and see him and meet him. That's pretty much the shakedown. I have to work very soon, but I wanted to do a guitar song. Got to end with a guitar song. I used to do it all the time in California and I haven't done it in so long. But I do want to accomplish a guitar song. I'm gonna make that happen before I sign off. Okay, technical difficulties, like they're going out of style. I started running on reserve battery power, so I had to go get my darn charger. So we're just gonna start over. It's fine, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> we can start over, not a big deal. It's a good song. Here we go, this is the mess. There's nothing here but the distance. There's nothing here but the mess. A beautiful shot of you thought it. You could have put it to rest. I'm smiling and eager. I am a rage and see. I've had it to hear now. I'm so tired of your needs.
that's the whole thing. The mess. It's a good song. Man, it's a good song. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching the vid to catch up with me. I miss every single one of you watching this video, including those that I may even see today or tomorrow or soonish. Keep on rocking. Ellen DeGeneres has a really cool thing that she always says at the end of her shows, which is be kind to one another, and I like that. I want to come up with a tagline for my vlogs. So if you have an idea for a tagline I could use at the very end, I would love to hear one because I can't think of one right now. I'm, I'm racking my brain, but maybe I'll come up with something for the next video. What, is, uh, what does Jack Black say? Let's rock, let's rock today. That's my, that's my tagline for now, so <laughs> I can't think of anything. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh no, can't find the exit. Ah, it's so awkward. Enjoy. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.